Hello, welcome to a presentation from Reed Yamura, an electrical engineer aboard the Kumuao CubeSat team. And here is video documentation on the Kumuao CubeSat antenna deployment concept. Hello, today we are going to demonstrate my nitro wire trigger burn circuit. To do this, we are going to incorporate the MSP430 mic microcontroller on this, process, on this chip which was hooked up to the USB. We're just using the USB for a 5 volt power source. So connected to this microchip is going to be port P1.1, which is going to be an input port to tell when the nitro wire is going to burn. OK. And also, for confirmation, we have P1.2, which is right here, which is hooked up to this switch, which goes shown over here. And when that switch is depressed, then the nitro wire will not burn anymore. OK. And next of all on our circuit, we have a pink LED that shows when the Nike wire should be conducting, which is hooked, to, this LED is hooked up to the gate of a MOSFET. And when we press the button at P1.1, it's going to turn the MOSFET on to conduct. And there's going to be current flowing from the drain to the source, which is going to cause current from this 9 volt battery to flow through the Nike wire, which is going to heat up melt this fishing wire scene over here and it's going to de deploy the antenna. Okay, so for our first try, we're going to do it without the nitro wire hooked up to it just to show what the MSP430 is designed to do. So when I press this button over here at P1.1, it's going to cause the pink LED to light up for 6 seconds and it's going to turn off for 6 seconds. Then it's going to turn on for another 10 seconds and then turn off for 6 seconds. And then it's going to turn on for six seconds again and off for six seconds. And it will repeat for six seconds on and six seconds off for a total number of five times. And so that was the third time. What it's trying to do is it's sensing that the MSP, if the Nikomar antenna deployment has been confirmed. Once the antenna deployment has been confirmed or the six tries are over, then the light will not light up anymore. So that should be the last try. Okay, as you can see, the LED didn't light up again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the circuit now so that the Nikomar is connected. So as you can see over here, once I press this button over here, you're going to see the antenna deployed instantly. And this pink LED will not turn on after it's been deployed. Three, two, one. And as you can see, the antenna has been deployed. The switch, the antenna deployment confirmation switch has been let go causing a feedback into the MSP430 to confirm that the antenna has been deployed. So for a more detailed view of the circuit, um, we have uh, here a little circuit diagram that we drew out. And the 9 volt battery is connected to the top, which connects to a Nikon wire, then connects into a IRL540 transistor. Uh, which has a 180 ohm re resistor tied from its gate to its source to drain the gate of any residual charge. And then we have a switch that simulates the general purpose I.O. output of the MSP430, um, which goes up to 3.3 volts. So when the switch closes, as you've seen in demonstration, the antenna deployment circuit activates and the antenna deploys. Thank you for watching this video, and if you need any additional information, please see the links on the MSP430 microcontroller development kit, IRL540 transistor, and Necrom wire.